Hello! Welcome to box two of my three box unopening saga extravaganza video series. Anyway, um, yes, I did record them all on the same day. Um, no. Um, so yeah, we're wearing the same sweater a few days in a row. No, no big deal. But, so this is the, um, the Zatsu box. Now, they are just the company that sends sticks. Uh, that's, that's their address. And if I'm right, this is a... I think it might be two items. It's one that I backed up on Kickstarter. And a second one that um, they said, Hey, uh, this is on sale. Are you interested? And I looked at it and it goes, Yeah, I am. And I, I like the price. So we're going to be opening the big box. And then opening the boxes inside and having a little chat about them. So let me just do that very, very quickly. Open away. And then... Come on. It is nicely packaged. There's some some shredded cardboard and such in here, and it is actually what I thought it was. So, first things firstly, this is a game called Zombie Wood. This is not the one I directly backed on Kickstarter. This is one that. This is the one that said, hey, do you want this thing? It looks like there's a, again, found some kind of, again, um, the, if you watch the video below, there was a, um, a limited edition item. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, looks like it numbered, at least. So this is the item that they emailed me and said, hey, we have this on sale. Are you interested? And I read the description and I thought, sounds fun. So I'll read the description to you. Let's shoot a movie and some zombies. In Adventures in Zombie Wood, you and your crew are about to sh are out to shoot the best zombie movie e <coughs> remake ever. One problem: the world is off <coughs> overrun with zombified Z-list celebrities, celebrities for short. So this isn't just a movie. No stunt doubles, no makeup team, no special effects. It's you versus them, featuring high quality, intensity, cooperative challenges with with individual gameplay. Lightning fast dice puzzle action in real time. <clears throat> Use a sand timer included or our web app based timer with a mood setting soundtrack featuring Mark Dodson. Voice actor for the zombies and George Romeo's um, Day of the Dead. Cool. Unlimited re replayability with unique character types, themes, locations with gameplay modifiers, and a variety of choices packed with puns, dark humor, and countless references to the greatest modern zombie um, films. Uh, two to five players. Uh, 30 to 45 minutes, age 13 up. And then we've got 54 actor cards, 40 Z celebrity cards, 48 item cards, location cards, custom dice, 15 custom dice, uh, 5 plot twists, six, <coughs> 5 six shooter hexes, that's like a young thing, bullet tokens, comic book included, including the rule book. Um, a 60 second sand timer, a plethora of puns and movie references, and this is by Baskerville Productions, and that's going to be important when I show you the things. So let's have a quick look at this one, <coughs> and then we will look at the other one. It's a slight dent in the box in the corner here that I've just noticed, but overall, it's very well packaged. Um, so yeah, <coughs> I got an email the other day saying, um, your thing that you ordered is on its way. And I have to say that I think it was definitely within two weeks of that email that this has arrived. So thank you. I've just noticed on the um the box here, it says um it's got the universal logo, but it says universal. That's kind of funny. I'm gonna pop you down for a second because you're big and heavy. I'm just keep slipping sliding. Um so this is the rule book slash comic. With some interesting thing, um, some credits on the back here. Uh, there's the comic kind of simplified artwork. So yeah, th so this is the comic which tells the story, and then okay, so the comic is most of the book, and then the rules, game components, and then like okay, you've got five pages of rules. But they're set out quite 
chunky text, so quite clear. So I can't imagine it being massively tricky to get the hang of. So that's that. We have the tokens which you can pop out. This isn't a board game, um, by the way. So there's like these. I'm not going to open up all the cards right now, uh, but these are the scavenger cards. Uh, we've got <laughs> puns. So we have starving artists. We have um, various people who may have actually been Kickstarter supporters if this is originally a Kickstarter game in of itself. So all these different cards. And it is like a tabletop game. So there's your, your gun things, your, um, your sand timer, which I believe I'm going to trust is 60 seconds. And then the um, various action dice. So that was like fun. I'll talk about one of the dice so we can have a cl closer look at the dice. I am just skipping through this because this isn't the main feature for me for this box. Um, so we've got a green die here with two gunshots, a hatchet, a hatchet and a baseball bat, baseball bat, a singular gunshot, a ah, hatchet, baseball bat and gunshot. So yeah, I guess these are different types of attack. And then they're all D6. Blue one. Hang on. So we've got the got a hatchet. Z W. So I don't know. That's like a, that'll have a special meaning. So it looks like similar sort of designs. It's just some of them have got the Z W on them as well. So um, yeah, there's there's the dice. Uh, I guess it's like you know three different colours, different players. Not sure. I'm sure it will explain the thing. So yeah, this is actually um, pretty nice. It's pretty well put together. You obviously you've got, you make your space, you deal out the cards as instructed and um, have a fun, fun game. What's this right here? Uh, Mary Polaroid, starring in Goodwill Zombie Hunting, The Princess Died, uh, Mary Choppins and Zombie Casting Director. Yeah, those are terrible puns. And this starving artist takes three baseball bats and two gunshots to kill. I'm assuming that's what that means. So, um, yeah. I'll let you know um, when I get to play this and see how it goes. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's no actual board. I'm pretty sure it's just like, um, yeah, nothing underneath. <coughs> you know, pop out the tokens. Oh, tokens are double side, which is nice. So, yay, we got... Board game number one. I'll have a look at proper look at that later and read the comic. But yeah, um, it looks good. I like it. My knife is dropping. There we go. So that's that. But that is not the main reason I brought you here. The main reason I brought you here is the thing that I originally backed on Kickstarter and have been looking forward to for ages. And it's a way bigger box. Zatu Games. Buy three or more, get 3% off. Use code Zatu3. Buy five or more, get 5% off. I, I don't know if that's just on the dice, because 3% and 5% don't seem like a huge amount. Um, right for us, one of these parks. Oh, okay, there's a there's a prize draw. Um, cool, I'll have a closer look at that. I mean, if you want to pause and have a quick read yourselves, you're welcome to. Um, but yeah, so there's a chance of winning something from them directly. But uh, here's what I really brought you here for, and the reason why I said basketball games is significant, it's a Sherlock Holmes game. Uh, so original Sherlock Holmes and his ba Baker Street Irregulars. So this is actually based off the original Sir Conan Doyle novels, and um, yeah, I, like I said, I backed it up ages ago. Uh, Michael... I can't read those. Um, made by these people. So, <sighs> assemble your crew of BSI, um, Baker Street Regulars. Visit locations, gather witnesses, and inspect artifacts from Conan Doyle's cannon to make the key arrest and secure your place as a le legitimate rival. As a legitimate rival f of Sherlock Holmes. So yeah, rival is in you know you're just as masterfully detective, just as masterful a detective as they are, as you know, 
anyone else. So it comes with the, ooh, this comes with the double side neoprene mat, uh, 100 evidence cards, 40 villain and legacy case cards, uh, sorry, yeah, 10 inspector cards, 12 plot twist cards, arrest order board, five arresting order wooden badges, three inch metal Holmes figure, which I'm looking forward to, a uh, 40 millimeter metal directional coin, three character boards, six Holmes in disguise boards, um, 50, 65 BSI tokens, round marker and a shilling token. Uh, yeah, 2020. <sighs> so, not suitable for under three year olds. There's what the back looks like. And yes, just to. I like this. This is. A... Oh, it's got that new box smell, but it's a lot more matte. Well, this is like a gloss. You can see the difference. Like, that. there's a nice shiny shine. This has got like a matte finish. And in terms of. Yeah. But I think the main size difference is because of the, um, the game. This doesn't have a game board, but this does. So let's open her up and have a look. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's got that new box smell. It's gorgeous. Oh, that's nice. So it looks like the instruction book is like it's like a full twelve inch, isn't it? Looks like an album. Uh, plot twist cards. Yeah, this is like the rules. Oh, very very nicely spaced out. Um, very clearly written down. Um. So yeah, that's all the um instructions here <clears throat> again it'll take a little while to read through them but clearly written out so it shouldn't be too complicated once you get the head around it um now i do know like i said before i comment i kind of half commented on the zombie boards that the um persons might be if if zombie land was a, a, a kickstarter as well the people featured on the cards could be kickstarter people because i happen to know for a fact that one of the tiers that you could go for which i didn't but obviously some of the images are based on the actual actors um so i think going down to the original um like the earliest sherlock holmes movies um but yeah the some of the Kickstarter people that people backed it up could actually have their images on one of these tokens. So that's why I know, like, oh, that's that. Um, so yeah, the front is the pictures, the back is the descriptions. Same with here. Some stuff looks like it's formed around a bit, but I think they said that there was an email about the packaging. Um, again, we've got Homes in Disguise. And obviously the various descriptors of the size. Um, more people who I assume are backers. I'm not on here because I didn't go for that tier level. Um, but yeah, got some got some interesting looking people who backed this project up. Um, so you've got the little wooden tokens for the warrant badges. Um, nice silica. This is, I'm guessing, all your story cards. And such plot lines um this is the the mo this is heavy this is what i've been looking forward to basically the idea is like the person who wins gets to have the trophy for the day or whatever um but this has got some serious weight to it let's bring it as close as i can without fuzzing out yeah it's like a full-on based on the patchet um, illustrations obviously with the deer stalker and the the, the winter coat um but yeah, it's really cool. I like that. Can I pop that down carefully? And then <clears throat> the coin, the directional coin, which I'm not sure how these are supposed to work, but <sighs> that is nice. Sorry, I'll show you in a second. So on the one side, you've got the, the logo, but on the other side, you've got this nice group shot. I'm not sure if that's still focusing properly. But yeah, so you've got... It's really nicely detailed. It's actually... um. You can take a, a rubbing and probably get a quite quite a funky image. But I might do that later. I might do a rubbing of that later. Um, <coughs> we have the game board. Looks huge. It's all rolled up. Let me just I'll put that out in a second. And then, yeah, because there, uh, there was an email thing about the the bubble. Because like there's 
slots here. I think they're talking about maybe having an um, expansion because there's lots of slots and holes on here that haven't got anything in them. Um, oh yeah, so that'll be what the design the design on the back of the coin. So I'm going to open this one up because if I'm right, this is what's based on the various actors that have played the roles. So let's have a quick look. <clears throat> My voice is starting to go. It's not fun. Uh, so we've got Oriati. Come on, without. There you go. So Moriarty. Um, well, I'm going to do this towards the camera so you can see them. I'm just. I'm not going to read them out. I'm just going to show you everyone. And stop. If you want to have a look a closer look, you're more than welcome to. At some point, if I'm right, we're going to start seeing faces that we recognise from films and, and TV series. But they all look really cool. Like the artwork on them is really nice. Like I said, I can't actually read out what they're saying because I'm looking at them backwards and I can't read it properly. So I, I get... There we go. There's a handsome looking fella. <coughs> Are these, I think these are suspect cards. I think this, the homes is coming a little bit later. Oh. Ooh, spoopy. Oh, wow, these are like case cards. Jellyfish. Wow, big rat. That's a Sumatran rat, isn't it? I haven't actually, well, I must admit, I haven't read all the um, books. I haven't seen all of the series. I, I own most of the versions. Um, obviously, I've got BBC Sherlock. I've got the Downey Jr. movies. I've got the full box sets of um, Jeremy Brett and uh, Basil Rathbone <coughs> and a few other versions, like the Hammer Horror and such. So I do own several versions of... The Sherlock Holmes is. I just don't have. I just haven't read them all. I also own all the books. I think. I think I'm missing the last book. No, I have the last book I've got on digital. I've got digital, digital e, um, e books. Because, fun fact, in the UK, all the books are public domain. And if you've got an ebook reader or something, you can download them for nothing. Um, so, yeah, this. <laughs> this is the game board. Um. And on the other side, we've got various pictures of different scenes. Let's have a quick look at the scenes. So we'll just go through. I think, yeah, I think these are based off the Paget illustrations. As you can see, it's very pretty. So this is just like a thing. One of the higher level tiers, which again, I didn't get because I couldn't, didn't have the money in that moment, is you could have got a jigsaw puzzle, like a double sided jigsaw puzzle that's like both these images. Uh, so yeah, we've got the game board to have things set up. I like the fact, because it should mean that the cards shouldn't slip sliding too much. Yeah. So I like that. That's very cool. Got a bit of gift to it, but you know. Doesn't smell too bad. <coughs> Tube! So that is very, very cool. So what we're going to do is, very lastly and very, very quickly, we have a quick flick through these cards, which I think like scenarios and stuff. So what's on the back? A rest phase. Tra I think that's like a, a quick, quick guide. Ah, uh, rubbish. So much rubbish. They are big. So we've got the Times, Advertiser, Morning Post, Evening Standard. So these are like different names. Daily Chronicle, Observer. So, these look like various. So, on the back, you've got The Adventure of the Three Cable, The Problem for Bridge. So, on the back, they've got different novel titles, and on the front, they are different. Like news articles, I'm guessing these obviously somehow come into play and they've all different pictures of various characters. 
so <coughs> the writing on them isn't very legible I mean you, you can read it but it's not like a complete article so if you pause and have a look you, you see what I mean you can't read it all the way through uh, these are pretty let me just okay so it looks like it's like multi-phases because this is like says number two on it not number three sorry the number two so yeah without having read the rules it's hard to say what each of these cards are supposed to be doing or are for so this is the adventure of the three guard reads two so the books have different things on them so we've got more newspapers locations but these ones look really pretty so that's that looks kind of cool more newspapers different locations they're very nice <coughs> more more locations and different places so that's all of the threes is there any fours <laughs> yeah and the four so again newspapers characters props um evidence and yeah again I'm, I'm assuming that once you read the instructions everything will be like oh that's what that's for and uh, then we have war <laughs> so hang on this is all is it hat five so basically we have lots of different cards of lots of different events and props and and evidences in various different phases <clears throat> all the way up to number five and then we have our characters and people so on the so these cards are quick guides for people to have so rest phase tri trial phase bonuses oh yeah reference card investigation phase yeah plot twists i um won't read those out but again more Paget. So if you if you like the original Paget artworks, then you're gonna have a great time. I don't know if these are uh, this is available separately to buy. I'm assuming it is because it's part of like the Zatsu um, thing. They've <coughs> thing women patrol. So these are different officers. Yeah, so these are different offers of different types. I think some of these might have been um, Kickstarter backers as well. <clears throat> so yeah, I think you might be able to buy these separately, but I'm not sure. I said I got this on a Kickstarter. Um, presumably they kickstarted it to then have people be able to buy it separately. The only thing I don't seem to have is the shilling, but I think that might be something that was mentioned in the email that I didn't fully read <clears throat> so yeah lots of pageanty stuff so the only thing I'm gonna go back and double check on is it's supposed to be Holmes cards based on the various actors I didn't really notice them there So yeah, what do, what do you think? What do you think of this kind of um, game unopening? Is this, is this something you're interested in? Is this something you're interested in playing, do you think? Um, like I said, it's uh, Zatsu. I think it's just Zatsu.com. And then, like I said, as of right now, I can't say that they're um, selling these direct. But likely that they are going to be doing so, though, so at some point in the future. So there's what to look forward to do you think it's shilling token two round markers oh hello hang on a second yeah <coughs> so tokens would be tokens so yeah we've obviously got a few different things here round markers and tokens and such So let me just 
grab up these cards again and have a closer look because did I miss something? Nope. I'm gonna have to go through my emails again and the actual original campaign because I'm sure there was supposed to be character cards based upon the Holmes actors and um, <clears throat> at the very least RDJ and B Crumbs have got very distinct faces that would jump out but I can't seem to see them <clears throat> so I don't think I've missed anything yeah these have all got plain backs slightly curious I'll let you know but they are very cool I'm looking forward to actually playing this game and um, yeah, seeing how it all pans out. Let me double check these tokens. I'm pretty sure they're not on there. Oh, that'd be quite funny if they made them Baker Street Irregulars. <laughs> nope, nothing there. Oddness. I'll read, like I said, I'll read the emails again because I think there was something up in there about um, <clears throat> different things that were in. Where they were and weren't having problems with but yeah what do you what do you think does this look like an interesting game does this look like you'd want to play yourself um what about the zombie land game is this is this thing like make movies with actual zombies um but yeah no this is this is really nice oh there's a solo variant oh in the solo variant you'll be competing against the master detective homes you'll always have the upper hand can you keep up so I could have a go on my own. See how that goes. <clears throat> what I might do, and please feel free to um, let me know, register interest in such an idea, is if I obviously read the instructions and work out how to do the solo game, is that something you'd be interested in watching? If I like set up the camera and showed me playing the game on my own, is that something you might be interested in looking at? Or would you rather not? So yeah, one to five players, 30 to 45 minutes, age 12 plus. Um, beautifully presented. Really happy with that. Mildly confused about some things in the um, Kickstarter. Maybe, maybe the reason they haven't got the, um, yeah, the, the faces of, of the various actors is rights clearance. Like maybe they just couldn't get the looks, you know, cleared. Or maybe, the, um, yeah, it's in one of those decks that I didn't fully look through and they like snuck them in so yeah that's um that is zatu games yeah zatu.co.uk um z-a-t-u-c-o.co.uk yeah uh, and then we've got a uh, team at zatu email and at zatu games i'm assuming is their twitter and they look like very nice people so check them out if, if like i said I'm, i don't know for definite if the sherlock holmes game is on sale on their website as of yet but presumably this is and um, they've got other games as well that you can obviously have a look at and see if it's for you so yeah bit of a different one for me opening up a game rather than a you know a, a, a geeky thing well it is geeky but yeah different kind of geeky <coughs> um, but yeah I'm gonna stop recording now because my voice is starting to hurt uh, again if you didn't watch yesterday's video um i was unboxing a different thing um it is my birthday on monday uh so if you want to hit the subscribe button that'd be very very cool and i'd appreciate it because yay birthdays and um yeah uh thanks for watching if you have been you are awesome especially those of you who are all the way to the end of the waffling like i said feel free to like share comment subscribe definitely definitely subscribe because that'd be nice and I will see you, yes, I will see you. So, as I always say, I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you next time. Bye!